good morning. I still got this cut on my head that I can't wash and can't mess with, but we are uh, about to take flight for the morning. I'm having to hit some flat ground because my leg's still banged up. I don't know what's going on with it. It's something with my hip, like a, I don't know, some ligaments or something. Apparently something was jarred in the ligaments and whatever's sore or stretched or stressed or something, you know, I can't, I don't know. I've had to kind of grasp at straws as to where to go because um, everything I hunt is mountains. Everything I hunt is steep. It's what I like to hunt. It's what I kind of seek out. So when this happened, uh, it's been kind of a change of pace. Had to get up a little early this morning, drive down south a couple hours, but I'm going in by boat this morning. Um, anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling. Um, my deliria is taking over. I think that's why what's going on here, but we're fixing to hop in the boat and motor down to a spot that hopefully we can hear a turkey gobble. That would be fantastic. make some people ask some questions. Got a hen right out in here raising cane off the roost and it's not provoking any gobbles. Struck one of the two hens I found the other day when I was in here. I combed this place really well and felt like I'd looked it over. Went back there and one of them was squawking at me, but that's all I hear. I was afraid of that. I'm sure it quite a number of boot tracks in here the other day and it being as accessible as it is uh, I'm sure if there were gobbling turkeys in here they've been removed and placed in someone's freezer uh, that's why I don't like hunting this easy flat stuff ag fields these turkeys are too susceptible to fans and strutting decoys and that kind of thing so but I didn't have a choice this morning so just pulled up to another area here. Got out of the boat, walked up to this uh, ag field. Just as I was getting up to the ag field, I heard a turkey gobble. For sure, I'd have no idea where it come from. I thought it come from straight out in the field. Saw a turkey out there, I thought, that's him. So I put my bind up, this a big old hen. She's right on a rollover, so I thought maybe he's behind her. Then the turkey gobbled again, and it's probably gobbled another eight times. And it sounded to me like it was back that way, which makes no sense whatsoever. Highway back that way, you can probably hear the highway noise. But now it won't gobble again. I've been standing here for another 15 or so minutes and I ain't heard it again, so I don't know what to do. That was weird, that is a weird situation. You got, I can't stand having that noise in the background. That's just, I can't, can't get a grasp of where I'm, what I'm listening to. I came to the conclusion 
that the majority of those gobbles I was listening to was an echo. So what I'm going to assume happened is I walked up to the field just as the gobbler was going over. I heard the first gobble which came over the little roll. All the gobbles after that he was over the roll of the hill so that it was hearing an echo and it was bouncing off the trees behind me. So I looped around to the bottom of the field and I'm going to try to get over here in the area where that hen fed to see if hopefully it gives me another gobble. I'm going to pinpoint him uh, to determine yay or nay whether my little calculation was right or wrong. set of gobbler tracks. Pretty doggone fresh. Coming out of this field. Going into the field that I just came from. Maybe I guessed wrong. Maybe he was over there on the other side. It just didn't make sense. Where I was hearing him gobble just did not make sense. It seemed like he was in the middle of a swamp like a like that would be underwater right now. Like it just didn't make sense. So I'm really wishing I'd have trusted my ears now. Because uh, after picking that place over there on the other side of part and not seeing anything, um, came over here to where I thought the turkey gobbled from. And uh, what I, what looks like on satellite is just trash, just a nasty, just trash. It's not, it's actually an ag field now. Very likely, highly likely, that's where that turkey was gobbling from, so. But now that was probably gosh an hour and a half ago or something heck maybe more so who knows where he's at now we're gonna make a little loop through there and see if we can strike him up he's most definitely been down through this road here we just gotta find him gobbler tracks we found yesterday we're not actually hunting the gobbler tracks we're hunting uh, around the gobbler tracks to try to find the gobbler that made the tracks I don't want to hunt the ag fields and I don't want to hunt flat land I don't definitely don't want to do it on the weekend but it's a weekend we've been on the road for an hour and a half or so coming back down south which is another inconvenience but we're doing what we can getting in where we can get in my screen is about to fall off this camera it got crushed during the wreck the other day I haven't been able to replace it obviously but anyways this highway noise in the background is just about overwhelming. I mean, this place is a lot of gobbler tracks up and down these roadways, but I cannot hear. I'm sure y'all can probably hear in the background. Like, I don't know why it's so loud today. It was loud yesterday, but it's extremely loud today. Like, I don't know if I can hear a turkey gobbler or not. It's the last morning I'll spend over here, no doubt about it. It's frustrating. Really frustrating. My boot tracks from yesterday got there. Somebody's been in here this morning. Sorry, yesterday afternoon. I'd assume it's this morning. It looks extremely fresh. So, I'm out. It's breaking daylight. We're leaving the car. It's okay. We're only going right there. We're hunting Courtney's one of the pieces of private that she has here again. Because I'm still limping around like a whoop dog.
property is so weird. It's like you know there's turkeys around, but they're just, they don't, I don't ever hear them gone. It's just one of those weird days. Everything's happening, it just doesn't seem right. We're sitting there, hear a turkey putting or clucking or something way across the field. I mean, this big field. How many yards is that across that big field? That are 500? Yeah, at least 500. And I hear it. I look through binos, see a turkey way over there on the ground, walking around head up and everything is a gobbler but he's all nervous he's all get at his rooster right beside the road like within shotgun range of the road within shotgun range of a car almost yeah he's right down from the car and then he disappeared I don't know if he went in the woods and crossed back across the road I don't know I mean, do you not. think he's gonna just come across the field when he can't see him well there's so many rolls and dips in that thing if he calms down maybe okay. I ain't got a clue what he's gonna do. I just don't know what else our other options are. Yeah, okay. He's up to this tree, I guess. I don't know how far it's gonna come, but he just turned and started walking straight this dang way. Some flank hard left though. Wait a second. That's not him. That hen's way up here on this hill beside the pine tree. See her? That's where the hen went. She just would come up out of that hole. problem is we're, we're pinched we can't move mm -hmm. they're gonna be like in front of us forever in four days I mean she's angling this way but she ain't angling this way well enough you know mm -mm. No, she's angling well enough. Don't know if we're gonna be able to back up, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're kind of close, huh? Mm hmm. No way we can crawl out of this. Hmm? I don't think there's any way we can crawl out of this. Hmm. You think? Mm -hmm. in a pickle. Too far. Mm -hmm. The 
turkeys did exactly what we thought they were going to do. They followed that hen, even though they, they were three, four hundred yards behind her. They did exactly what she did, but we just couldn't get backed up in these woods to get cover to get around to get where we needed to get to kill them. So now they just fed right past where we were standing this morning at daylight into that small field that was behind us and probably up into the timber, I'm guessing. I'm not real sure, but that would be my guess. No idea where those birds went. We'll try to let them get through the gap so that we could get some cover. There's a dog. Oh, yeah, dog's a squirrel. Did you see that thing? Yeah. I guess it was right on that hilltop giving an optical illusion. I, I just saw it, yeah. It looked like a dog with his tail just flopping about like Layla, with her tail just like wagging uh -huh. uncontrollably. Huh, anyway. We got up here to the field that they were, the next down and goes into a small field. We expected them to be in that field or out of the back of it. Either way, I figured it once they hit a call, they would gobble at it. <laughs> nothing, I mean nothing. I have no idea why. Two Longbeards and two Jakes looking for that hen that had walked off from them. Won't gobble. Even if they found her, you think they'd gobble.